Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in hello, every everyone, sense of the world. The sun is out, the football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. This, of course, the fixture to which we've been looking forward so very, very much and for so very, very long. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch is pristine, the crowd basking in the sun, smiles on faces, a really good omen for the game, we hope. There's the shot! Not so much sophistication as doggedness and sheer bloody-mindedness. Well, I admire players who do that because they just don't give up on anything. After four minutes is number 11. So, a breakthrough already. Sergio Roberto. Now, that looks a decent ball. You can never be short of runners into space, as long as the space left behind is filled. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, what a ball! A oh, shooting chance! Anthony. And they're back on the ball again. It's anyone's ball, but another time! Really well taken goal! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! There was no getting to that, no getting to it at all, expertly done. He weighed up the landscape, Peter, and he stuck it bang in the corner. After Two goals on the day, and he may not yet be done. Things starting to look very comfortable. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Locked in behind. Delivers the ball. Towering header. Oh, there's the clearance. Can he finish? In he goes again. It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. Manchester United with their first corner. The first in the game for either side, actually. Bruno Fernandes plays it short. Great ball, and he's in. He's had a hit! It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes! Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Rashford, and he's in, and the finish! They are rampant! Again, they simply do not know what has hit them. Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. Goal! After 36 minutes is number eight. Three nil, and things are starting to look awfully cosy. And it's lofted through here. 
Ter Stegen comes out and deals with it. Diogo Dallo, he's left his man. Rashford, and here's a chance. And somehow, somehow he kept it out. Rashford knew immediately he didn't catch that to his liking, and his face was a, a picture of dissatisfaction. There will be three minutes at a time. And a play for a throw. Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes. Had a shot. That tested the keeper. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being... And there is the half-time whistle. So no shortage of thrills, no shortage of fireworks, but all very one-sided. We appear perhaps headed for a cricket score at this rate, unless there is a significant change in fortune. It is 3-0 at half-time. Everyone, please welcome the two sides. Here we go again, then. Now it's Lewandowski. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. We're seeing some really good pressure being applied here, Peter, particularly from those guys up front. Yeah, and it, it just, I suppose, Jim, denies the others time and space. Well, I would call it blanket suffocation. Every single player is committed to the press. Tries a shot! Romeu, the ball has bounced loose now. Now it's Rashford. Oh, it's opened up for great hit! Oh, no, a quite unbelievable miss. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. The attendance for this match was 71,898. And it's Lewandowski. Out to the right. Some good work on the right flank here. He's got away. Goes in for the header. Goal! Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. And that means just one thing. Match ball. Well, he's been on a crusade. And his first goal seemed to just whet the appetite. So time for change, and this one has been on the cards for a little while. Well, this could Some be an indication that the team are, are setting themselves up for the counter-attack here, Peter, and he is very good at that type of thing. Manchester United, Rashford! Keeper always had the measure of that. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. It's their second corner of the game. Bruno Fernandes with the short one. Nice ball and he's in here. Has a goal! And yes, it's there! And it adds further to a heavily one-sided scoreline. This is getting punishing.
Well, I think we've reached the point when even damage limitations is, is no longer an option. Four in the game. He is the man. Number 11. So there's going to be another change here. Substitution. Manchester United totally rampant here. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. And there's his chance to lead the counter. Fires from distance. And he couldn't quite make it six. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Romeu. Pedri. And it's Romeu. Rashford. Rashford takes control of enemies on the move. Chance! And the follow-up! He scored! And so clear that one side are so much better. The scoreline entirely justified. Well, it's a goal fest, and the fact it's so one-sided now is, is getting scary. Romeu, and it's Gundogan. Good spot, he's seen the run. Diogo Dallo. For Ericsson. Manchester Six United clearly now in lead preservation mode. Bruno Fernandes. And it's Casemiro. Is there any support? He might not leave. And a shot! In for the pieces! And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Manchester United, a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Manchester United kept such a, a high defensive line and squeezed the game with, with really good pressure on the ball and it made the big difference. It helped them to control things to their liking and they look comfortable in it for me. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me and we'll both see you next time.